Well, on Monday, we heard from probation officers and academic counselors. Tuesday, we heard from old friends and roommates. Yeah, but today, not much testimony, but instead videos from the moments leading up to and after Hollis Daniels shot and killed Texas Tech police officer Floyd East Jr. Kelby Case Jaxie Pigeon was in that courtroom today while those videos were being played for the jury. Now, Jaxie, as we all know, around 6 o'clock that night back in 2017, this all started out as just another shift for Officer East, right? Right, well, Hollis Daniels III was actually being arrested for possession of a controlled substance at that time. So what could have been a drug charge ended up taking a fatal turn at the police headquarters on Texas Tech's campus. After Officer Floyd East Jr. arrests Daniels in his dorm room at Talkington Hall, prosecutors showed video from Officer East's patrol vehicle as well as his body camera during the drive over to the Texas Tech police headquarters. You can see Daniels fidgeting in the back seat, and then we hear his gun drop. You then hear Officer East, who was driving the car at the time, ask Daniels what that loud noise was. Daniels would respond, quote, my handcuffs, nothing else. The video shows Daniels in handcuffs struggling to pick up the gun, but he'd eventually get a hold of it and tuck it into the front of his waistband and pull his shirt over his pants to cover the gun. At the point when Officer East and Daniels are walking into the police headquarters, prosecutors deem the video that would follow as too graphic. So only the judge, the jury, the attorneys, and Daniels were able to watch that video. The gallery could only hear the audio. Although we couldn't see the video, we could see Daniels' reactions in court. He was taking a lot of deep breaths and was clearly struggling through it. In the briefing room, Officer East takes off his body camera and puts it on the table. Sergeant Snelson, who responded with Officer East that night, tells the court Wednesday that that is a common practice so that the body camera would capture both the officer and the suspect. When Sergeant Snelson checked on Officer East and Daniels in the briefing room, he noticed Daniels was no longer handcuffed. He says that, too, is not unusual if a suspect is being cooperative. In the final moments of Officer East's life, Daniels asked Officer East, quote, Do you have any family at home? To which East would respond, yes. And that's when Daniels shot the officer point blank in the head. Daniels would take off running with the gun and Officer East's body camera. Officers involved in the chase testified Wednesday saying he was not following their orders and continued running away. It would be just under two hours before law enforcement captured him. At that point, Officer Edwards says he had his rifle pointed at Daniels. He says Daniels kept saying, quote, put it in my head. Officer Edwards would lower his gun when no weapons were found. Daniels was then taken into custody, and officers would then search for the gun and Officer East's body camera that he had stolen. Both items would be recovered near the old Lubbock Municipal Coliseum where they found him. The sentencing phase will pick up tomorrow morning at 9.